Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best compact entry-level couples travel trailers in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 East to West Della Terra 240 RLLE. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Della Terra and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you this small, compact travel trailer, the Della Terra. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! Top of the morning to you. Yeah guys, um, it's a beautiful day here. We're at General RV of Tampa. And guys, I'm so excited to show you this Della Terra by East to West. Della Terra, or East to West in general, just does some pretty cool stuff with their travel trailers. One of our favorite manufacturers. Yeah, for sure. And I'm excited to show you what they're doing in here. Well, without further ado, let's begin. All right. Model is 240RLLE. The actual tip to tip length is 28 feet 10 inches. The dry weight, 5,148 pounds. The hitch weight, 575 pounds. Will, this is an awesome entry level travel trailer. Yes. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And when we say entry level, Will, we mean aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Yep. Right here, we do have a power tongue jack. Okay. I've never seen this. Blackhawk. Yeah. Power uh, propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. Right here we do have a black diamond plate rock guard. Okay. Again with the corrugated siding. And then right here, Will, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. Now in a traditional Della Terra, Will, we're going to have auto uh, electric stabilizing jacks. Okay. This is going to be manual uh, LE lesser edition. Just a little bit of a better price point. Nice. Right here we do have passenger storage, very nice. Okay. Coming on down, power awning with LED lights. Coming on down, we do have a water heater right here. I wish they would have given you a, a white cover so it, it would have blended right, in a little right. bit more. 10 gallon, no, six gallon DSI water heater right there. Coming on down here, low point valves. Coax and power if you do want to have a TV on the outside. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the load stars. I love those. LT ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Coming on down here, we do have an outdoor shower right here. Little clippy for the outside. And then right here, Will, even though this is an entry level travel trailer, they're giving you these solid steps. Freaking love that. I love it too. Right over here, Will, it's a LP Quick Connect. Okay. Want to have a grill on the outside. Coming around the back, Will, we do got a spare tire, spare tire carrier. Oh man, Arrowhead. There you go. I love those. Dang, I've never even heard of Arrowhead. Right. Lion's head. Interesting. <laughs> potable water fill, potable. Potable. Cable hookup right there. And uh, prep for the Lippert collapsible ladder and prep for a Furion backup camera right there. Cool. Finishing up, Sir Will. We do have your 30 amp power cord already in we do got this baby plugged in cool. city water connection black tank flush here's where you're dumping your tanks and this does seem like it's sitting up a little bit higher it doesn't does it? yeah yeah very nice and then here the other side of that storage cool easy breezy well yes well well the outside of this unit looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look Lipper XF solid steps. Yep. For extra fluffy. There you go. All right, we'll start up front. Nice bedroom up here. You got the split bathroom here. And then in the back is your living area, dining area, and kitchen comboed into one. Ah, and the Lord said, let there be AC. And now we have AC. Yes. Will, before we show everybody the inside, let's just take a quick moment to thank Clipper for sponsoring this video. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services 
that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, well, we're starting back here again. Okay. Simple, amazing entry-level travel trailer. This is for the people who don't want to spend a fortune on their first one. Right. Or it's for the people that only go camping, real talk, six times a year. Yeah. They don't need, they don't need nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They, they just need it to do its job, which again, this is doing a fantastic job at its job. No balance. Or are they just missing? Um, doesn't look like they have them at all. That's interesting. But there's a balance up there. Uh, I bet it's missing, yeah. But on all three? I know, that's a little strange. Know. Neither here nor there. If they are, then they're supposed to look like that. Yeah. And if they're not, I think it looks better without them. You know what I'm saying? I kind of do too. Like, all these all these brands are doing this stuff. It's just like, dude, sometimes it's just unnecessary. Yeah. Right here, we got a side table. How you doing? There you go. Another side table over there. You got USB power up there. Yep. How you storage doing? right here. Oh. And then we have a jackknife sofa. Bada bing and bada boom. Very nice. I do not like these arms. Right. Whatsoever, but we will touch on that a little bit later, Will. Okay. And then we're going over here to an awesome u-shaped dinette yes very very nice hmm i wouldn't even call this a u-shaped dinette it's like a u and a or a half a u-shape no yep it's like a w like a w shape oh uh, pretty much just a two-seater you know what i'm saying you got that side here this side here very nice window on that side really really nice i kind of wish that they put the windows here i do there. too you know what I'm saying? Just to give it a little bit more space. Get a cross but, uh, breeze. Dad, dad, sit here in the dinette. Okay. Very comfy dinette. Yeah. You know, easy to get in and out. Right. Good table space. I like that. It is really, really nice. Yeah. And, and then show us no, no storage underneath. Nope. So show us this uh, amazing kitchen over here. Okay. Well, first, sorry, that's where the TV would go. Yeah. And then that's kind of like your entertainment center, even though. <laughs> Even though there's no entertainment. All right. So just continue on. All right. It's a little kitchen, but you got some storage up top here. Yes, sir. Nice little graystone microwave right here. Okay. Nice window on your camping side. Two burner graystone cooktop with the blue lights. Ooh. Uh, not solid surface countertops, but a nice big single bowl sink. Yes. A couple drawers right here. Okay. And I'm assuming, no, there's nothing behind. So a couple drawers here and then storage here. Right there. Very nice. And then a couple more drawers right here. Oh. Oh, I tried to beat you to it. Yep. And then next to all that is, ah. Oh. See, I love this. Remember the open range from two days ago? Yep. This is the size fridge that it should have had. I agree. And it opens this way too. Of course it does. I love that. I love that. Like, don't tell me how I should open the fridge. Right. Let my fridge my choice you know what That's i'm right. saying like if i want to open up the other way i could do that if i want to open up this way i'm wondering maybe i want to open up my fridge this way i just there you don't go. tell me how to open up my fridge you know if that's how i choose to open up my fridge that's what i'm doing that's right well well do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp burr, 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 burr. well before we show everybody the msrp what's it say it says use your should not attempt to actually both door latches simultaneously open only open from one side or the other 
Once one side is open, do not attempt to actuate the other latch, or the door will become disengaged from the pivot. Well, what? well, I apologize for everything I just said a second ago. You take it back? One way or the other. Don't open it both That's ways. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, well, MSRP on this unit. I actually don't know what it is, but Miss Jennifer, please show the MSRP of this stock number right here. Stock number 281963. Sale price, Will. Jen, please show everybody what the sale price is because we do not sell these at MSRP. That's right. And Will, I don't care what that sale price says. I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better sale price than that. All you guys gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked that website so you can click it in the YouTube description below. You can get there by clicking RV sales help on mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. However you guys have to reach out to us, please do. We have a whole team here dedicated to helping people get the absolute best price in America. Will, show us this awesome bathroom. Okay. So this bathroom has a huge shower width and depth wise, but they did not really put a skylight in. They put this little thing in, and even this is too shallow. All this is too shallow, so unfortunately it fails. Womp womp. That yeah. does not get the shower test seal approval. It does not. Speaking of a fail, well, I'm seeing another fail. I know. Which is gonna be right here. Unfortunately, well, it's just a plastic toilet. Truthfully, even with this here, it was actually a pretty decent setup and everything. But this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. But here's what I will say. Fantastic storage in here. I love that, yeah. Wow. That's great, especially for the size that this is. Look at that. Nice. That, that, and that. Very nice. And then over here we have a mirrored, oh, snap, liquefied. Our rim RV toilet treatment. Guys, it's the absolute best. If you guys need black tank treatment, go to primepoopposition.com. Pick up a bottle. Right. And Jen thing. probably has that QR code right there. Probably. So you can just scan that QR code and it'll take you directly to Amazon. Nice little sink. And yeah, just a, a decent, decent bathroom overall. Okay. And then over here in the master bedroom, Will, Will is this a king size bed? It's a king size bed, yes. I'm loving that. Show that storage right over there. Okay. Right there. Storage all the way across. And then you have that same closet space on that side. Yes, sir. Very nice. Power and USB right here. On both sides. All nice right. Nice little side table. Nice pocket door and everything. Yep. And then let's see. Well, there's no balances over here. No. Dude, I bet you they, they took away the balances. I kind of like that, to be honest. I do too. And then right here, Will, is um storage underneath the dinette. Okay. And right here is where you can mount a TV. Yep. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about it and three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Yes, first one's outside. Will, dislike number one for me. Look how small that awning is. It's very small. They could have put in it, one, to right here, but two, they could have put in it all the way over here and had a huge power awning with LED lights. Right. That's actually a little disappointing. That's dislike number one. That's dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is, this is a small travel trailer and they actually killed it with this bathroom, but then just cut some very short corners. No porcelain toilet, and honestly, if they just put a skylight in here, it would have been a great shower. Yep. So, so it's like they did such a good job on the bathroom. Yeah. The fact that they failed the shower test was a big dislike. That's number two, Will. And then number three for me is going to be the cushion arms. Yep. I hate these. These frustrate me. I don't like them. And I just don't like them. I hear you. But again, overall, phenomenal travel trailer. That's three things we dislike about it. Well, now time for the easy part. It's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Okay. May I go first? Sure. No, I'm not going. Yeah, I will. This dinette is huge and big. I kind of don't like the U shape. Yeah. Because nobody's sitting there, but for two people, this knocks it out the park. I agree. You're trying to get a third, it's just not going to do it. That is number one. Well, number two? Number two for me is going to be king size bed standard. Yes. Um, truthfully, I don't care. I know it's a small trailer but I'm always gonna want a king size bed. And um, yeah. I'm That's number two. And then, well, number three for me is going to be kind of contradicting your number third, but not really, it's complimenting it. And that is a huge center bathroom. Yeah. The, that bathroom's bigger than most travel trailers at all. It is. So to have a bathroom like that and a size like this, I love that. All that storage in there is freaking fantastic. Well, well, that's it. That's a review. That's the East to West. 
2400 RLLE. If you guys are interested in this RV or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We've linked it down below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way, any way you can. Our team's here and they're dedicated to help people get the absolute best price in America. Will, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And um, I really, really like the East West Delatera so much, especially for that uh, entry level market. Yes. I think they kill it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.